Greetings, one and all. Welcome to NHL 17 Season Mode. Now, as most of you already know, the Vegas Golden Knights have now got themselves an actual roster, thanks to the expansion draft that took place two nights ago. Now, that got me thinking... How would the Golden Knights roster perform against the rest of the league before free agency and before the NHL entry draft tonight? So here we are in NHL 17 to find out. I have set up a season mode with my new Las Vegas Golden Knights team that I created. And I've added all the players picked in the expansion draft, bar the prospects, who are really low 70s or really low overall players. And I didn't add the players that were traded yesterday, such as David Schlemko and JVR. So this roster is up to date as of the time of this recording. Of course, the entry draft is later tonight, so this could completely change and this team could be completely different by the end of the evening. But it is the current roster that we could well see on opening night for this team. Also, I have decided to turn injuries off because I want to get a real sense of how this team will perform if they are all healthy. I don't want a, oh, Marc-Andre Fleury gets himself injured halfway through the season. Therefore, we miss the playoffs or something like that. So, we're going to see how this team does without injuries. I believe that means the rest of the teams don't have injuries. So, it's a legitimate, our best players against their best players, who wins? So let's take a look at the lines, then we will sim through the season, and we will see how far we get. It will be fully simulated, but here are your lines for the Vegas Golden Knights. We start on the first line with Jonathan Marchessault, Cody Eakin, and James Neal. Second line, David Perron, Eric Howler, and Riley Smith. Third line, Oscar Lindbergh, Mikhail Grabowski, and Connor Brickley. With fourth line being Chris Thorburn, William Carlson, and David Clarkson. Our defensive core... Braden McNabb, Alexei Emelin, Mark Mathot, Jason Garrison, John Merrill, and Luca Spisa. With our goaltending, of course, Mark Andre Fleury, the flower, and Calvin Picard as our backup. Scratched, we have Colin Miller, we have William Carrier, and Shea Theodore. They probably won't be playing any games this year or in this simulation because of the injuries, that is. So we will see how this team performs. So I decided to put Perron on the second line because he's a second line forward. Same with Riley Smith and Clarkson and Thorburn are on the bottom line because they're fourth line forwards. So this forward group looks awful except for James Neal and Riley Smith, I'd say. The defensive core, I mean, if we had some decent people up here, then the rest of it would actually look pretty solid in fairness. Then the goaltending will be alright. I think we'll be okay with this goaltending. So let's go to the season and see how we do. So it's just going to be a case of swimming through the entire season, seeing where we're at by the end. And having some fun. So we want to go all the way to April. Let's go to April 9th, 2017. So let's see how this does. So our first game of the season against the Philadelphia Flyers. We lose in overtime. And we lose against the Ottawa Senators. And the Montreal Canadiens. And the New York Islanders. We get our first win against the New York Rangers. Then a loss against New Jersey. A win against Philadelphia. A shootout win against the Colorado Avalanche. A loss against the San Jose Sharks. Loss against Nashville, a win against Anaheim. So we're getting some wins here. Against Colorado, we lose 1-0. Oh, that's nasty. 5-1 loss against Winnipeg. A 4-2 win against the Boston Bruins. Not too bad. A 4-3 win against the Calgary Flames. A 4-1 win against the Vancouver Canucks. Wow, we're on a four-game winning streak now. Well done, lads. Going 500 hockey again, and then we lose in a shootout. Uh, home against Edmonton. Good. Oh, wow, we're going above 500. Jesus. Against the San Jose Sharks, we lose. Against the LA Kings, we lose. Okay, we're going under 500 again. Against Columbus, we get a shootout win. The home and home, we lose the second one. Overtime win, we're getting a lot of overtime or shootout wins here. We're having to take them to extra time. Overtime loss, that's a point. A loss, a win. Oh, by the way, I should probably add that I uh, replaced the Arizona Coyotes to be able to do this because they're not going to be competitive anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I've taken a couple of wins, a loss and a shootout loss. Another shootout loss. 14, 14, and 6. Oh, we're above 500 again. Against the Rangers, we lose 3-1 this time. Against Calgary, we don't know. We're fit. Well, I think that was a win for us. Against Vancouver, a 3-1 victory. Against, oh, wow, against Anaheim. Wow, we're going 18, 16, and 6. We might actually make the playoffs if we go on a bit of a winning streak again. Okay, and we're, we're now on a three-game losing streak. I kind of jinxed us there, didn't I? We get a 5-2 win against Edmonton, and then against Winnipeg, then against Minnesota. Wow. Then a 2-1 loss against Tampa. An overtime win against Florida. A win against Vancouver. Oh my goodness, we might actually do something decent here. 
So the All-Star game is coming up. I'm not that fussed about that at all. No worries. 23-19-6. That's better than I was thinking it was going to go. Oh yeah, and you've probably noticed the logo is really awful. Yeah, I didn't want to spend like an hour trying to figure out how to create the logo. I was not interested at all. I just picked a random one. You would have thought they would have eventually put in the in the logo as a custom logo, considering the team has been around since before this game was even released. But, you know, it's EA. They're a bit lazy. A 4 nothing loss against the Kings. A shootout loss against the Blackhawks. A win against the Sharks. 24-20-7. A win against the Habs. Against the defending Stanley Cup champions. A 3-1 win. Overtime win and a loss. We were on a four-game win streak. Then we lost. A shootout win against the Kings. A loss against the Sharks. A shootout loss against Anaheim. A 5-4 win. Then a 3 nothing loss. Late in February. Last few days of February coming up, we've got Buffalo and Boston left in February. Then the trade deadline. I'm not making any moves. No moves need to be made. I just want to see how this initial roster will do. A one nothing win, then a 4-3 win against Buffalo. A 4-1 win. A four-game winning streak now. Then we lose a game. Wow, we've got 30 wins this season. A 5-2 win, a 5-1 loss. A 2-1 shootout win, and then a 3 nothing shutout loss. 5-1 loss, a shootout loss. A 4-1 win, a 6-5 win. We might hit 40 wins this season. Wow. Overtime loss. Come on, let's hit 40 wins this season against Washington. There you go. 40 wins this season for the Vegas Golden Knights. Supposedly in their first ever season, they are going to go 30, uh, 40 sorry, 40 wins, 30 losses, and 12 overtime or shootout losses. Now, the real question is, is that enough to get into the playoffs in their division? Let's have a look. No, it wasn't. Wow, well, hang on a minute. We don't know. Hmm, hang on a minute. This is really close. So only two teams have been given their place. So what? what's what's the deal here? Have we missed the playoffs? I'm a, I'm a bit confused as to what's going on here. So, ah, so the Oilers have one more game to play. If they lose that in regulation or overtime... Yeah, I... No, I think if they lose that in regulation, then we win. Then we go up, I think. If not, then it's the... I don't know. We might potentially be through. I'm not sure, though. So if we advance a day, let's just have a look. I want to see where we're at. Okay, so did we get any of the wildcard spots? Because it doesn't look like it. The playoff matchups have been determined. So, the Vegas Golden Knights missed the playoffs by two points. Wow. By two points. Points with a record of 40, 30, and 12. James Neal having the top point scoring with Riley Smith, both 58 points. So James Neal will be a 20 goal scorer. Perron will be a 23 goal scorer for the team. March or so will drop from 30 goals to 18. 49 points for him this season. So that's not bad, actually. David Clarkson with 22 points. Thorburn with 20 points. 105 penalty minutes. Nice job. So, John Mera will be the worst off. He's a defensive defenseman. Makes sense. A lot of defensive defensemen on this team. And then, how did uh, Marc-Andre Fleury do this year? So, he played 69 games, 35, 23, and 7. Goals against a 2.37. Save percentage, 9.25. With four shutouts on the season. That's pretty impressive for Marc-Andre Fleury. Considering he is playing against a really... Or playing with a really mediocre team at the moment... The fact that they went two points away. they were, Yeah, they were literally a win away from going through to the playoffs. They were five points back from first place in the division. Tenth in the Western Conference. So we weren't that far out at all. So let's just sim up to where the draft is supposed to be. Or, or let's just sim... Yeah, let's sim up to where the draft is supposed to be. And we'll see who wins the Stanley Cup this year. So the Vegas Golden Knights, they are not in the playoffs this year. And it, I'm glad that I did it without injuries because I actually get to see, like, legit if this team was like this. And, and it, it didn't put a handicap on the other teams as well. All of them had their players stocked up as well. So it was a legitimate, every single b uh, team's b uh, best players together, who would do the best. And the Vegas Golden Knights only two points out in their first year of a playoff spot. That would be super, super promising for the new franchise, definitely. So the Stanley Cup champions were the Pittsburgh Penguins. Well, the NHL 17 simulation managed to get that right in season mode. So there you go. The Pittsburgh Penguins won and season mode is now complete. 
So there you go. At the end of the regular season, a 40 win, 30 loss and 12 overtime or shootout loss record for the Vegas Golden Knights. Let's just look at how far we were out of the conference. So we're in the Western Conference. So Nashville was the lowest team. We were literally one point back from making the playoffs. One point. We were 0.6% of a point winning percentage from making the playoffs. Wow. Then if we take a look at the entire league, where did we place? We placed uh, 15th. We placed exactly in the middle of the league. And look how many of the teams managed to make... There were three teams that placed below us this season that managed to make the playoffs, all from the other conference, of course. So, wow, that's pretty That's pretty interesting to see, actually, that the Vegas Golden Knights could potentially make the playoffs in year one. According to NHL 17, of course, I think their team isn't strong enough to make the playoffs in year one, unless they make any more moves. But considering Schlemko and JVR are no longer part of the team, and I didn't use them in the overall look of this team, the fact that they're, they had 188, and their next best player was 85 on forwards. They had no guys above 85 or 86 on defense. And they had an 88 rated goaltender. The fact that they were very mediocre to say the least. And they were only two points away from the playoffs. Is actually very interesting. That, that's either like, wow, Vegas might actually do very well this year. Or it's a case of, wow, NHL 17, your system is screwed. But there you go. That is a prediction of how... The Las Vegas Golden Knights will do this season. What do you think about this simulation? Was it good? Bad? Or have I copied too many other YouTubers by doing this? Yes, I know loads of other people have done this. But I wanted to do it for myself because fuck the rules. Please let me know what you think about this video uh, or any other videos you want in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.